Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye as well for more links. Also my Patreon link in the bottom if you want to support me that way. Check it out, otherwise keep watching. Uh, this video, you guys know me, right? You guys know me. By this point, you should know me. 160 plus videos and you should know that I'm a person who makes a bunch of stuff and then I kind of half regret it and I do something else but it's not all that bad this video this video is going to be about going into playergui.cpp open your playergui.cpp go in here and then find your init tab menu init character tab and all this stuff and we're gonna extract that and put it into its own little class and you probably saw this coming, a lot of you, but it's cool. It's going to be a fun little exercise. It's not going to be too big of a deal. You don't have to name it anything special. I mean, of course, something that makes sense. I'm going to name it player GY tabs. Player or just player tabs. Uh, I don't know. Player GY tabs makes more sense. I'm just going to make a straight up class which keeps all the tabs as well as the tab container and just having a one place to keep all of these tabs will make it a lot easier on us because then we don't have to go in and flip out over all that stuff uh, open your player gui tabs h and cpp keep them here but also keep your player gui cpp open and open your player gui dot h and you'll see all the things you have here you have your player dot h and gui dot h i want you to copy these two include lines and put them into your new header file here called playergytabs.h. And of course, you want your pre-compiled header file on top here in the CPP file as well. Make sure you have all of these things and it makes sense. Now, keep these together if you can. Go ahead, go into your playergytabs.h. And we're just going to make a private section here to contain a bunch of our things. And you'll see that all of this will work eventually. Now, we want to, before we start anything, you want to make sure your files are in the correct place. Uh, obviously, my player GUI tabs is under the header files, but I'm going to move that up to GUI. And I'm going to go down to my source files, and I'll see another player GUI tab CPP. I'm just going to pull that up to my GUI as well. And if you guys are wondering why I'm working so much, much with GUI right now is because I want to be able to see all the data of the character before actually making more things like items work and, and uh, leveling up properly, setting attribute points. Because if you can see what's going on easily in game, you don't have to go in and out all the time. So I'm going to keep it like this. Now, first of all, first things first, I'm going to go into my player GUI.cpp and I'm going to see what I did here. What I did is I have loaded in I have a function called init tab menu and init character tab. So I'm just going to copy these two from the CPP file in player GUI. I'm going to copy these, control X them basically straight up like that. And I'm going to put them into my CPP here like that. But obviously this isn't player GUI anymore. It's player GUI tabs. Put that in. And these two functions need to be added to the H file, to the header file. So I'm just going to copy one, one of these at a time. And I'm going to put them up under a functions part here. And it's just a void, void function. The ones we regularly do, right? And then the other one is, of course, void. We'll copy that baby as well. Init character tab. Put that into your header file. And once these two uh, function headers are here, you will see that everything is fine. Obviously, we don't have these member variables in yet, but we're going to do this one step at a time so I don't confuse you guys. Go to your player GUI.h now, open that up, and you'll see you have a bunch of things here. Uh, of course, we're going to look under character tab. I'm going to control, uh, control X, all of that. Okay, all those two things, and I'm going to just put them in player GUI tabs. But before I do that, I want you to see these old ones, the old function headers that we can remove now from player GUI.h. So go ahead and remove those like that. 
make sure that's done and clean here. You don't have any errors, any problems. Also, you control X these two variables. Now go to your GY tabs H and just paste them under the private section here. Good. Now you have your two or three things ready. If you go in here, you'll see everything is working. Obviously, we don't have a video mode linked yet and we don't have a font and we don't have anything else, but we do have the GUI coming in here, the GUI.h. So we do have those functions. What I want to do is I want to take a VM and a font, these two things, go into your GUI tabs.h and paste them on top here because these are two things we're going to require. I'm going to use the same font. So I'm going to make that a reference. I'm going to use the same font I do in the GUI. So we're going to just go with one font throughout the whole thing. If you want different fonts, you can load it in here separately. Uh, I'll just put that under a core section here. Now this is very, very far from done, but this will give us a nice, nice framework to work with. And once this is done, my idea is to load this in, create a player GUI tabs uh, object in player GUI and just update that, render that and go from there. So it's going to be a lot easier for us. Go ahead now and go to your player GUI tabs dot CPP or actually before you do that, take these two that you created and just paste them into the constructor and remove the semicolons and put a colon after your VM, obviously. So it looks like this. Now we have two references going in here and we really do require these because we're going to have to force these in here. Um, and all you have to do is VM, VM and font, font. And the reason we use references here is because we want to force these. We don't want to create a GUI tabs object without these two. So you need a reference into that. That's why references are great. I have been making mistakes in this series, which I will not make in the next platformer game with references and pointers, mixing them up a little too much and not following my own rules. So I apologize for that. But in the next series, which will start pretty soon, hopefully you will not see those errors if you follow that series. Uh, go ahead now, once this is done, you're pretty much done. It's nothing special. All you want to do is you want to call these two functions that you created init tab menu and init character tab. Go ahead and call these because we often forget to call these. I do at least <clears throat> this init character tab. I often forgot to call these so nothing ever happens. But once you do it, you'll see there's no red, nothing, no errors in here. Everything is fine. We can use the VM and all that. So no errors. Obviously, we want to include this new new class into our GUI so we can use it. Player and GUI is already being included from this new one. So I'm just going to include that one. Player GUI tabs dot H. Once that's done, you shouldn't see any errors. You shouldn't see any problems. You don't need to forward declare these either. I kind of got that wrong. So you don't need to do that. We have our player pointer here. We have everything done. Everything's fine. Um, what you want to do though, is you want to initialize the GUI tabs. And of course we have our initializer functions here. We just want to create one more and you want to create a new one called init player tabs. We'll just call it init player tabs, whatever you like, you can call it anything that you find more explanatory. Go ahead and use that. Go to your player GUI.cpp now, and you'll see your new function created. Obviously here you'll have some errors still. We're going to remove all of these before we continue with this new function that was created. So go ahead down here to your first red section and just remove this. And while we're here, while we're in the constructor, go ahead and call this init player tabs and send in your VM and also need to send in player as well. Okay, we'll fix that. You know what? Leave it as it is. We'll do that before we end the video, but make sure you stick with me until then because we have to fix that before we get going. That's a nice way to keep you guys sticking around, right? But here we go. Update character tab. Uh, remove that for now as well because remove that function. Remove all of this. Ca render character tab because we'll do all that in one go later. Now this will complain. We're going to remove that as well. 
nothing really here anymore. Good. Go to your GUI.h and we'll see what we have left. So update character tab gone, render character tab gone. So we'll just remove those two and we'll keep it like that. The final steps now is of course, like I told you, to fix uh, this problem here. Now we have a VM, we have a font. Uh, of course, we wanna send in the player. So I'm just gonna say player, pointer, or a reference actually. Here is also a thing, player reference, player. And I'm gonna go ahead and create one of these in here as well. So make sure we force that player to really be included because references can never be null. That's why you have to, when you wanna force something for the programmer to, uh, to input, you wanna give it, put a reference to it. So we wanna say player, player. And then now you will have a player in here, a reference that you can use. Good, now everything is set, everything is good. The last set to this, the last thing we have to do is in the init player tabs, go to your in player gy.h, first of all. You will see your new function that we just created, but we haven't really used yet. In here, sadly, we have to send in all the stuff from from that. Now let me just check something actually. You know what? It is the best way to do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it that way. Uh, let's say VM SF video mode reference VM SF font reference font player reference player. And now when you have these three, let's copy that and paste it in here. Maybe we'll need to do more things in this function. That's why it's good to keep it this way. This player GUI, then we have to actually create that as well. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, go ahead, right at the bottom here, player GUI tabs, player GUI tabs, pointer, uh, there we go, pointer, player tabs, we'll just call it player tabs here, we don't have to do anything special, it's a, it's a tab system basically, we'll see if we rename this, but I'll keep it a pointer actually, because I want to make use of this function we just created, player tabs equals new player, now I'm in the cpp file in case I jump too fast, gui tabs, now you just send in all of these beautiful variables, font, player, and you're good to go. And the last thing we do is to just copy this, player tabs, go down here to your player GUI and delete the player tabs because they are, this is a dynamic variable, it's a pointer, right? So you may want to make sure to delete that. And of course, when you call it, you want to send in your player and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's send in VM, let's send in font, and let's send in player. Now player is dumbly enough a pointer, so I'm gonna dereference that. Make sure to dereference it because it's coming into player GUI as a pointer. Okay, we need to change this to a reference actually. We'll do that in the next video, hopefully if I remember. But there you go, now we have initialized the player tabs, but we're not doing anything else with that. Now we have one last red thing here. Make sure to remove this update character tab. Sorry about that. Boom. Good to go guys. Good to go. Thank you so much for chilling with me and checking this video out. Uh, hopefully you learned something. We did go through a lot of stuff. We transferred everything to player GUI tabs. We're going to keep working on this, make a framework out of this nice GUI framework, and we'll see how that goes. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, please check out the description box, all the links, the top right eye, drop a like, subscribe, of course, if you like the content. And yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.